All right, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to get up to level 10 at this point. So, um, hold on guys, pause my music. So, uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to get up to, to level 10. I mean, you could basically do this within uh, just a couple hours of playing the game, not even. I mean, I think I got to level 10 in maybe 5 to 10 minutes of playing. Uh, it, it does go through tutorials, and if you've never played before, it does explain the simple basics. But there's a lot more that goes on that you don't know until you level the stuff up, like... Like basically, you still have tutorials all the way through level 30 on certain things because new aspects don't unlock until you hit certain levels, which is kind of annoying, if you ask me. Just, uh, you know, I mean, some of this stuff I think you should be doing a lot earlier in the game. You should be allowed to do salvage kits and things like this at, like, level 5 and 6, you know. Um, but, I don't, I, you know, hey, again, I don't make the game. I'm just here to try to give you the best advice. So, all right. So basically, uh, here we are at level 10 going up to level 11. So I'm going to upgrade my gate. It's the last thing I have to upgrade. So I have all the stuff I need to do it. Go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, that is for alliance support. So basically, if you come up over here in the alliance, since I'm the one that asked for the support, obviously I can't support myself. But in your territory, you'll have that same symbol. And when you click it, it will support anybody else with similar support requests. Um, you know, it says six hours, 28 minutes, obviously, uh, you know, about speeding stuff up. Uh, these are construction speed up. Those are general speed ups. They basically can speed up just about anything that could be sped up, um, other than attacking ships and, uh, things like that. So, uh, speed this up. Looking rough, guys. Gonna have to spend some gold. All right. So, boom. All right. Now we're up to level 10. Boom. Be sure to collect your resources from the, uh, Gibbs for sure. Good old Gibbs. Everybody loves it, Gibbs. All right, so then you go to upgrade your fort. So we had everything that we needed. So now that six days, that's the uh, peace shield. And I want everyone to know this. Like you go to your territory buff and you have peace shield. So if you have enough gold, you can buy seven days of shielding for 6,000 or three days for 3,000. Um, a lot of this game is realistically try not to lose what you've already got as far as like what you've gathered as resources um not staying shielded obviously you, you're open for attack and you're going to lose resources and materials needed uh to level up and it's quite frustrating sometimes um you know life gets in the way sometimes you forget this that the other gets in the way but uh anyway so now you see we got the fort leveling up let's go ahead so we can't speed this thing up so um wow okay so it's going to take more we'll, we'll watch ad Oh, can't watch an ad. That always seems to be the case, though. All right, so I used up my gold. Oh, hey, look, there's some more. Look, I found some stuff. Let's see, come on. So these are the peace treaties. You can forge these at level 15 at your pirate hall. I'm not there yet, so obviously uh, can't quite craft them yet. But it'll tell you certain aspects early. Some aspects it just doesn't mention, so... Um, now, when we get up to level 15, the hatchet will appear over here uh, by these trees, as you can see. Um, and basically what happens is, once you reach it, you hit the hatchet, it clears this out. It'll give you four more spots for you to put, uh, whether you want, you know, farms, uh, lumber mills, or silver mines. So, uh, and as far as I'm aware, that's the last is those that you get in the game. Now, the big key here is uh, obviously, uh, you know, you want to get all your level ups and everything taken care of as far as your islands and farms. So we still have to work on that. Uh, but the research is really the big thing. Um, so in research, as soon as you upgrade your fort, so when this is finished, I'm going to come to research. And I'm going to upgrade the building itself first. Okay. Obviously, I can't do it yet. Fort's not there. But once I get it leveled up, I'm going to come into research. And then I'm going to come over to resources. This is going to be one of the first things that you're going to want to try to max out. Okay, once you get that done and maxed out up to the level that it allows you to, um, you can go to ruling after that, and then ships, and then pirates. I know it sounds like a little bit of a shuffle, but I promise you the resources will help you get more materials to level up faster. So that's definitely the route you want to go. Now, the ruling, this kind of decreases the cost of certain things, like for the siesta, it increases captain's stamina recovery speed. So basically, you'll have more energy faster. So, um, 
and obviously, again, you want to you know max all of these out. Leadership. This is always a nice one. This allows you to have an extra sh uh, set of ships that you can command. So that's kind of a big deal. Now, <clears throat> once you get your research and you get this taken care of, the next things you're going to want to work on are your cannon shop, your weapon shop. So once you get those, you'll be able to upgrade your pub, your dock, and your shipyard. Those are all important things. You want to try to level those up in exactly that order. Uh, those are going to be the most expensive ones. From there, I tend to go uh, back up, and I'll level up the prison camp next. Then I go to the lair, then the forge, then I go to the tavern. Then I swing over here to the lighthouse, storehouse, depot, market, the crow's nest, and last but not least, the wonderful cave of treasure. So... Uh, now, I'm trying to make this as short as possible, but if you have any questions or comments, uh, please don't hesitate. I'd be more than happy to help you. Again, thank you for watching the J Star of Grim Gaming channel. Thank you for stopping by today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.